What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Now, again, listen y'all, this purging has been so crazy. We have a new moon, I think, today. And um, my emotions have been everywhere. Now, spiritually, if you guys know that most spiritual women are aligned with the moon and our periods are usually aligned with the moon. And if you have your menstrual during the moon cycle, you're highly spiritual and highly sensitive to emotions during this full moon. And that's what happens to me every single month during the new moon or the full moon. It depends. Um, yeah, so emotions have been high. I've been purging. I just want to give you a little update on my spiritual journey going on. Purging a lot. A lot of emotions coming up. Um, crying, old trauma wounds uh, that have not been healed yet are tapping, are coming up that need to be healed because this is a time where we are becoming this new version of ourselves. So we need to heal that old version of ourselves to become this new version because if we just try to like keep those wounds hidden, they're going to come up one way or another, no matter how much you want to avoid it. Um, you will always be triggered by certain traumas in your life. And um, I think I'm just grateful for this journey because it's taught me a lot in how to process it and how to respond to it emotionally. Now, your job is not to control your spiritual journey, but to allow the flow, allow your emotions and to take care of your emotions and to be there for yourself in kindness and be gentle with your soul. The whole the whole process of your spiritual journey is to learn how to flow with your emotions and to just be okay with them because it's okay to have anger sadness happiness you know joy you know those emotions of jealousy it's part of the ego mind but it is also a wound that needs healing because most of the people who have jealousy usually have abandonment wounds as a child and um that was big for me as well. Um, as a child, I have abandonment wounds as well. So whenever I would have this ego mind come up in this like emotions that were more ego to ego based, I was like, what, what's the deeper root of this? You know, I always questioned everything I thought. I like to question my thoughts. Always, It's always good to question your thoughts. So why are you thinking this? Where does this stem from? Where does it come from? And I was always a curious person. Like, I want to know myself more. How can I learn myself even more? How can I evolve from this version of myself to be a better version of myself? Because I was so sick of the old version. I just wanted to let go. But in order to let go, you have to fix those things that were broken inside. You know, start with meditation. Meditation is so good, especially on this new moon. Spiritual bath, spiritual showers is good to cleanse out all the old energy and allow the new energy to come in. Um, take time, um, write, do something that you love. If you like to sing, if you like to write poetry, if you like to dance, do something that makes your creative energy or your feminine energy just flow. Um, it's good to do that, especially when you're in a purging area or to sit with it. And that's that's hard, but sitting with that and process those emotions is definitely something that you need to do. So if you need to stay off of social media for a while and just allow those emotions and those pur that purging energy to, to come up and be released, do it. Take time in solitude. Don't be around so much, so many, so much energy, so many people. Um, those of us who are spiritually spiritually sensitive, like me, I can't be around a lot of people during this time. Whenever I'm menstru menstruating, or when I'm when there's a new moon or full moon, because it just overwhelms me, and it overstimulates me because I'm not only feeling my emotions and my, you know, trauma coming up, but I'm feeling everybody else's energy, and it's something something that I've learned that. I'm highly sensitive to emotions. I'm highly um, intuitive and um, I am sensitive to energy, very highly sensitive to energy. So I had to learn to um, learn to mute, eat, mute it, which is hard, but um, eventually we do learn how to control um, the energy around us and not allow it to come into us, but allow it to just flow around us make sure it does not get inside but it takes a lot of work those of us who have always like me I've done people pleasing most of my life 
and um it's not healthy <laughs> not healthy so uh yeah i'm unlearning that and i'm excited and i just wanted to give you guys an update that i have been purging and this new moon like tonight is going to just bring up a lot of emotions like today i'm just so tired um i have been around people today and i was at the gym and i was just there's so many people around me and i'm like i am so drained like i was not even socializing with a lot of people but i just feel so drained emotionally i want to take a nap i didn't want to post i just don't want to be on my phone but i was like i need to give my people an update because what if they're going through this too so this is for all my women out there who also feel the energy shift in this new moon and this is bringing up so much energy so please take time to yourself be kind to yourself drink water stay hydrated and uh go look at a beautiful view stargaze whatever you gotta do take time to take care of yourself be gentle be kind stay beautiful i love y'all peace